Hello, hello, and welcome to B6 Stop Motion. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy and reverse a few frames in Dragon Frame. Let's take a look at this project that I have open over here. It starts with an 8 frame hold on the first image, which gives that a third of a second hold, and it would give the viewer just enough time to get ready for an action. I think it is always important to keep that in mind with stop motion animation and avoid starting an action in the first frame or the second one. Also, you see that the cutout cat starts to appear in the next few frames until frame 14 and I added a 6 frame hold to frame 14 because I just want the viewer to understand that the cat is visible and something is going to happen to it. The cat starts a walking cycle after that and what I want to do with this project is copy this walk cycle a few times, three times maybe, and have it end the same way it started but in reverse. So we want to have the cutout um, cat disappear the same way but in reverse. So how do we do that? Let's start with copying these uh, walk cycle images a few times. So here's the first one where it starts and here's the last one where it ends. So I'm selecting frame 19, the first one, and shift selecting frame 35, just like that. And then we are going to right click and hit copy or command C on your keyboard. Let's do that and we go to the camera live view which is black right now for me on my screen because I don't have my camera connected at the moment. And we are going to right click and choose paste and insert. So now our walk cycle has been copied twice. I want it to be copied one more time since it's already copied I just need to right click on my live view and click on paste insert there we go now the walk cycle has been copied three times now let's copy and reverse these first few frames so i don't want to make any changes to these i want this to end the same exact way it started so same thing that we did we are going to shift select from picture number one to the frame 19 and now we are going to do the same thing copy or command c go to our camera live view and instead of paste and insert this time we are going to click on paste reverse drag and frame copy and reverse the frames automatically let me put that on loop and go to the first frame and play so we can see what has happened. So it starts like that, the cycle goes on a few times and ends the same exact way in reverse. This is a very useful tip in stop motion animation. You probably run into things like that quite often. Instead of shooting this again, you can always copy and reverse your pictures. Of course, you can always reverse your footage in post-production in whatever program you're using, Premiere Pro or After Effects. That's always an option as well. But if you ever need to reverse your images in drag and frame, you can always do that as well. That's all I have for you guys today. As always, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. If you are a Dragon Frame fan and want to learn more about this, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next one.